landslide threatens homes in a local neighborhood. Trees, mud, and debris have all moved over a wall and are now in backyards and up against houses. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch joins us now live with a look at the mess and also at the neighbor's frustration. Hi, Jeff. Well, good evening. The last thing I need here on Mitchell Avenue is more rain because more rain, you can see behind me, will mean more mud. It's a huge mess. I'm going to tell you, cleaning it up may be a bigger mess financially. They say whatever goes up must come down, but the hill behind your house is supposed to stay up. However, for a couple of homes on Mitchell Avenue, the residents are in deep mud. What goes through your mind when you look out the back door? I'm just wondering if we're going to have a back door. The yards behind 765 and 767 Mitchell are now almost inside. Landslides put the houses in structural jeopardy. The city says things have significantly worsened the last several months. I just worry about waking up in the morning, being able to open the back door and wake up and see a tree sitting in there with you, you know. Lorenzo Marshall and his wife Kimberly have lived in this house for 15 years. For 14 and a half of those years, everything that has come down the hillside, the vegetation, the trees, the brush, it was all up at the top of the hill. This place looked fine. But then in the spring, everything started moving. The more and more rain that we get, we look around, you can see it just like we sat there and watched dirt go down into the neighbor's yard. And me and my wife sat there for an hour just watching it just slowly fall down and just slide. Carolyn Uden is the next door neighbor. She spent about $5,000 recently to remove some trees in the hope that would help. It did not. According to the city building department, a contractor's estimate to clean the yards and prevent slides in the future, half a million dollars. Carolyn Uden says insurance will not pay. Can't get any help. I'm a senior citizen. I'm living on a fixed income. I had the trees cut down. When the mud starts sliding, this is the kicker. When the mud starts sliding over the wall that I had built back there about 13 years ago, I'm like, oh my God, this is serious than I thought it was. The city has orders open to repair the current situation and prevent it from getting worse. But the city also says the fix is up to the homeowners because the land is not city property. The building department says another home on Burton Woods Lane on the uphill side of the slide should also be involved. But for now, what goes up is still coming down, and the rain does not help either. Come November, I'll be here 27 years. I've never seen, and we've had rain, I mean, we've had storms since then. Never seen anything like this. Now, uh, the city building department says that the homeowners, that's basically three homeowners, have to hire an independent geotechnical engineer to evaluate what to do. Now, you heard them say, the city say one option is half a million dollars. Split that among three homeowners, that's, that's an unbelievable amount of money. There is a potentially cheaper option, a lot cheaper. It's a water control system to you know, make sure the water flows a little differently. But the city says that until this engineer, independent engineer, is hired by the homeowners and it comes up with a solution that is acceptable to City Hall and the homeowners, nothing should be done. So, you know, it's, it's just going to keep coming down until they figure out what to do and who's going to pay for it. Live in North Avenue, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News, back to you. Mm, what a mess, Jeff, thank you. The building department says the landslide does not threaten water, sewer, or power lines, and that's the reason neither City Hall nor Duke Energy has to help to pay for the repairs.